Hey, everybody. Hey. Whoa, no. <laughs> Great start. Get your shit under control. The worst so, possible thing happened. So, Gagarius isn't with us today <clears throat> because he has a day job that... Because life. Yeah, day job that withheld him. So, instead, we're going to have a guest for the next five or so episodes. And it's going to be Jen. Which you haven't been on the show for quite some time. Yeah, it's been not, a while. Not since we started using the face cam, too. So I know. Now so he's so pretty. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Yay. Oh. So anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, everything else is going to be the same. So let's just jump into this. Um, we were talking about this before we started the episode, but Jen was saying how... Well, I'll let you... S- I'm farther in the game than you guys than are right now. Us. And him playing on his own... And I have never seen that you can order your martial arts however you want. I've only ever seen the well these these the arts. Yeah, these you can't. Well, these are. But the, this this specific menu I haven't oh, seen. Okay. Which further illustrates what we've bitched about before <laughs> that. Um, the UI design is not no, intuitive. No, it's not. <laughs> intuitive. And I'm definitely not someone who like reads instructions, so I only find things if I fuck around with it. Right, and honestly, that's how most players are gonna do it anyway. They're gonna they're gonna learn from doing, not from looking at menus or reading tutorial texts. Right, and and see, this game is text heavy already. Like you're already listening and reading a lot of plot points. So why would I spend more time reading instructions? Right. No, I, I and I totally agree. Right. And <laughs> plus, <sunglasses>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, on that end, uh, I'll always argue that if the majority of players, if they all learn by doing rather than from reading, then wouldn't you want to facilitate them uh, learning by doing? Alicia's like, what? I'm right behind you. The Chancellor's Pawn. So it's been quite a while since we've recorded. Uh, I kind of have to remember some of these controls. So sorry, folks, if I'm a little dopey at first. Also, what the I'm going to change the targets. Camera. Where am oh. I? Yeah, okay, that's this like... is the downside. <laughs> I'm getting so ridiculous. Where, where the? What is? <laughs> my God. We need some this sort is, of camera. So can we? Really, I remember in an earlier episode, I was like, "Oh, I'm really glad that the battles just happen wherever you are." That was the one <laughs> downside of that is that if you're near a stair, I've done a it in a doorway wall, where a doorway divided oh the God. fighting ring in half, and that was a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> oh yes, I, we should get like a fourth player in here to just like change the camera angle. Can 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 the developers of this game get on that? Just yeah, like, can you just like do that? <laughs> fourth just, player you know, camera support. Yeah, I mean that'll be kind of handy. <laughs> That way, if you piss off the fourth player, they're like, no, we're going to look at this wall. Fuck you. You know, <laughs> the easier way of doing it, too, is just to make sure that there's always sort of like a three-quarters turn. Uh, well, not three-quarters turn, but a slightly overhead camera perspective. Mm-hmm. So that, and just like, ooh, herbs. And just like, remove the the walls or stuff if it uh, you had if it. it intersects. Oh, yeah. I have to hit this thing. Now speak. you have to go in another one. Did you just it? speak to the switch? Yep. Well, I checked it. <laughs> hey, you open. I think the speak was for Alicia. Oh, uh, for <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> open sesame. Who knew the kitchen was connected <laughs> to a place like I'm impressed at the scattered bones. No, it still it seems like a menu apple gel life bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we buy some stuff? Maybe. We could, uh, or we could do the. Got the. We try on some goods. Okay, talk to me about this thing. So try on basically it's it's like equipping things before oh, you so actually it purchase you it. The... Exactly. So we can see like this is gonna boost my strength, defense, and accuracy, and then I can also see how it's going to fall on that skill chart. Um, which, you know, is important if you wanna like build up combos to give you special bonuses. Right. Um, bonuses, if you will. Bonuses. Bonuses. Yeah, I guess we could equip some stuff. For some bonuses. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm, I'm gonna make this be a thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the guy is just selling like weapons and stuff, right? He's the the turtles. Oh yeah, the turtles. <laughs> uh, does he know that we have seraphim with us? I think he's a type of seraphim. Oh, if I'm totally. not. Either that or they're... I mean, can humans see the turtles? I don't know. 
That hasn't I'm, really been established yet. I feel like I haven't paid that close of attention. I mean, you can buy stuff from shopkeepers, too, for your seraphim, so... It just entertains... I think it's uh, a <clears throat> suspension of disbelief. Yeah, I think just the idea of, like, yeah, uh, can I get uh, this sword and then uh, that staff behind you? It's like, oh, ah, dual wielder, yeah, sure. Here, let me grab Whoa. that sword. Here's the staff. Here you go. And he's like... Thanks. Hands it to nothing. The staff starts floating in midair before it disappears. <laughs> I mean, the turtles could probably see the seraphim, and we can obviously the turtles. But like, well, I, yeah, I guess they never really did explain it either because we did see those tiger people, right? <laughs> Alicia was like, "What is something wrong? Am I in the way?" There are so many ghost monsters. Like, they just hover around and ghost yeah, monsters. Ghost monsters. Cursed monsters. <laughs> Demon Fang. Ah. I feel like. Oh wait, I got twin flow. Oh, that's right. So in your playthrough, Jen, have you uh. gotten the free roam? Um, uh. What's thing? So you know how if you hold like I don't know our like right trigger or something, uh -huh. you can just run oh, around yeah, freely. Yeah. Have you unlocked the... Get the fuck out of here, Alicia. <laughs> Jesus. This happens so much. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to go on a tangent here. There's In these games, I feel like there's absolutely no reason to give those players colliders. What? Why does that character have a collider? I already have these seraphim going inside of my body. Why can't I just walk through my companions that are in this physical space that block me. Why can't it just be an additional blessing of being the stupid shepherd? <laughs> well, okay. I walk through people. I, I'm sure the, the logic, right, is that it's it's a polished thing, right? It's like it's it's world breaking. Oh, I can walk through people. Suddenly this feels more like a game and less like a, you know, a, a world that we're living in. Oh my God, this game. Yeah. You know, it's really not conducive to multiple players. Because half the time, if you're playing by yourself, right, like, you don't need to pay attention to where your other guys are. You just have to make sure they're not dying. Now, at this point, being a uh, player three, I'm just button mashing because I don't really yeah. see where it's going. And I'm like, <laughs> like I don't uh, know if that's they're attacking what I've been doing. me. I need to block. I'm just going to do, do stuff and hope this works. We didn't go this way. Loot in the rooms, man. We got a lot of prison cells. <laughs> Why'd you say steal a lot of shit? Prison, prison cells. Although, I guess that's my question. Why are there so many prison cells in this place? Because you gotta have it's somewhere to put treasure chests, obviously. It's a secret garden kitchen prison. <laughs> I think they talked about it at some You stole a grape, you will stay in this prison for three months! And, and think about what you did. Yeah. <laughs> Elven crown. Oh my god, Alicia. <laughs> you she's like, she's like, what? You could at least enter the cell with me and be like, hey, you know. No, I have to stand here and do this cliche. Or she thing. could not follow you everywhere. Yeah, that too. Oh, nothing here. Psh, gypped. <laughs> That's like the worst thing. Well, clearly not this populate situation. every corner. Oh, there's nothing here in this cell. All right, I'm going to leave. Alicia. <laughs> Damn it. Get out of my way. Damn it, girl. <laughs> But, like, how did all these treasures get here in these, like, open prison cells? Who left these prison cells open? It's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> how about that conversation? How about please? that? How about that? Who, who made that conversation? I mean, come on. <laughs> Alright, so they're going through. <laughs> so we've wrapped everything up until this uh, weird, like, kitchen prison point. So now they, they're just a bunch of cells. They're, like, dead bodies and something. They're like, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what if we put treasure in there? <laughs> well, any nook and cranny in the map, like somewhere that doesn't lead to another room or doesn't have a door, you know that's just somewhere for treasure to hang out. Yeah. And that's generally, that's good level design. Um, so, like, I'm not necessarily complaining, right? Because if there were just a bunch of open prison Where's cells, the then I'd be like, well, why would we even bother exploring? Because obviously there's nothing here for us to find. Chris, I hate you because you picked the closest one to track. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you I'm, mean? I'm doing good, guys. I'm, I'm fighting the bad yeah, guys. Yeah, well, we're all dying over here. <laughs> I'm all right. Just use your defend action. And you'll be fine. Jeez, Cujo. 
So I've been having a blast talking to Covert about this game. Covert, our, our programmer, if anyone didn't catch that on some of the earlier episodes, um, but he's been playing this game and, and kind of chatting with me about the content in the videos that uh, he's he's seen and like giving me uh, criticism, I guess. But he's been playing on like ultra hard mode and and telling me kind of what the differences are, which are very interesting. Yeah. Um, but the gameplay, I think we talked about this in some of the earlier episodes, but the game starts being less about leveling up and more about getting better equipment. Oh. Um, but I also discovered that other difficulties also kind of change it up, and instead of giving you more equipment, instead just give you more gold and less experience. Um, and I think maybe the hardest mode just like gives you less of everything. Hmm. Um, I think I hate that uh, you get fatigued in this more than anything else. Yeah. So th that does bother you? I hate it. Because then I'm left, and it's not like, you can get fatigued from doing the A moves, you can, or the martial arts and the, uh, the other arts. So basic. But if, if you do get fatigued, then it reduces, like, it fucks up your movement. Right, it, it, it cancels your, your flow of, of the combat, which was one of the better things about Tales of Symphonia, is that you could establish that, like, combat flow and figure out different right. ways to combo with it. But that means you just have to stand there and defend, because if you're moving and defending, you're still losing... Right. Yeah, I, and energy I mean, or whatever they call it. So a, you, there isn't. Yeah, it's not flow. You just have to stop and block. In a way, though, it, it's almost like almost better in this combat system to run away and then block, so you're not taking damage and recovering SP. Um, but I agree. Like in the earlier episodes, I was talking about how <laughs> I kind of like the the blocking the SP system and the blocking system because it makes defending a lot more necessary but at the same time i agree like i'm frustrated that i can't just like spam are you laughing at the sunglasses <laughs> it makes a difference in the, like, how i read their conversation <laughs> this is how i've been playing in my personal play through this whole time too i'm just like yeah we're a squad of badasses so real quick when we ended that battle there was that little like quote from like whoever finished the battle yeah, yeah and what was really funny is that saray went what a formidable opponent huh <laughs> Fantastic. Ooh. I hope we didn't miss any of these. It's a torch. Well, if we if we get all of them, we open a secret door, I think. Yep. All the torches? <laughs> all the torches? Well, anyway. Well, you missed a little hook room. Oh, there. shit. You're right. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think we have this. Yeah, we don't have the silver key yet. Well, I'll tell you what. Maybe we'll find that silver key soon. But unfortunately, we've Next hit that time, people. Already. Oh, dang. Well, my God. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> it's a lot more intense than I expected. Anyway. Well, you found the other one. It's going to be more Tales of Zysteria. So we'll go through the, the door. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait. We have one thing. What's our question of the day? Um. Do you. Hmm. See, I'm horrible at coming up with the questions. Why don't we come up with these like beforehand? Yes or no. Uh, we try to, and then it doesn't. I mean, so this is something that we've very recently started, and basically the idea is, is that we the question of the day is something related to something in the episode. So this is for all of you people, too, oh, if you haven't okay. seen this yet. Um, so I think our question of the day should be... Um, how do you feel about Can treasures up? in random prison cells? <laughs> or treasures in nonsensical places. Or how do yeah. you feel? How do you feel about the camera being placed in such a way during oh, the combat? The other guys? Uh, let's let's talk about the the, the treasures in in uh, the prison cells. Okay, bye, Cujo. But basically, how do you feel about? Uh... Hello. Man, I'm just repeating myself. Okay. Question of the day: What do you think about level design wise putting treasures in random prison cells? Do you think it makes it, it's better designed to do something like that to encourage exploration? Or do you think that it's bad and that it breaks continuity of the world? At least in a game like this, right? So. Well, my first response doesn't break continuity because it's all throughout the game. That's fair. But we'll leave the rest up to you. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. See you in the archives. Have you never used a mason jar before? <laughs> <laughs> that was a sincere question. I wasn't being facetious. That was super hipster.
Bro, do you even mason? <laughs> do you even mason? Do you jar, even bro? mason jar, bro? 